beep, 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 beep. Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Are you gonna tell me I don't need windows that you shut up? And then, no! You stop it! You stop it! You stop it. Um, so on the last episode, I got the, um, Gold Bloom. Which is a plant that I've wanted for a while by doing an epic quest. And I actually thought about doing the epic gem quest. Because 50 gems is cool. I mean, with enough patience, you can just get that by watching ads. But, um, I don't know. But I think I want to move on with the story, especially because there are plants in here that I want. And I don't want to play without them anymore. Same with the Dark Ages. So, I guess I, I want to do that and the Dark Ages. And then maybe I can, like, chill a little bit before I go to the, uh, the crazy stages. We'll see. Things might change. But, um... Also, again, I'm trying not to play as much because I was just... I, I know some people don't... I, I know some people do mind backlogging a little bit when it gets ridiculous. And it's just... It's gotten so wildly ridiculous when I was looking up my episodes to, um... Name them. I was like, wow, I just mentioned a comment that someone did two months ago. So I'm gonna... <laughs> gonna slow down. But I think I'm gonna play at least once every five days... And the thing is, I just want to record this. When I think about, like, what do I want to record, it's this game. I like playing it. But, um, yeah, I'm doing it, like, every five days means, um... Although, if I'm gonna release every three days, that's still gonna be ridiculous. We'll figure it out. Forget what I just said. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every three... Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to not play for a month to catch up. Um, all right. I know it's a pinata event, but let's go a little bit ahead. So, I, I think, I might have actually, I hope I haven't, but I might have actually done this very pinata event before. Um, and if so, I'm sorry, there's no way I'm gonna be able to remember those type of things. But this plant is cool because when it, uh, when zombies get close to it, it turns into a spike rock. It is a premium plant, if I, um, I mean, I don't know how much sun it costs, because I've only ever used it uh, in pinata events. But if I, if I was able to, uh, buy it, I totally would. And I don't know if barrels crush it, either. I should find that out. Crush. Um, I'm going to guess that they do. In fact, I'm gonna need to test this just straight out. Um, and I'm gonna need to put one closer because they're not making it. Yep, alright, so... I was thinking about powering up the, uh, the ones that I've been putting closer, but I don't know. So the power up, um, permanently powers up the plant for the rest of the stage. So you notice he's got like crazy spikes now. He's gonna, he, he's just more powerful when he shoots and his spikes when he's stepped over will be more powerful as well. So it's cool. And if you notice they're piercing like three different guys when they're, um, yeah, when they're shooting. So yeah, these guys are just great. They're great little plants. And there's tons of imps, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, Magic. Here, you die. <laughs> Doesn't really matter because the, you know, again, these guys turn into spikes and I don't think they're gonna get through. No matter how far they get launched, if they get launched to here, they're still gonna die due to spikes. Clam. Well, that's weird. <laughs> the barrel's just on the spikes? I didn't think that was supposed to happen. But okay. I'll accept it. Yep, easy little pinata stage. As long as you keep on planting and planting and planting, I don't I don't know how you could lose it, really. Because, like, what were they going to do? How would they get past? <laughs> like, the only plant I think I lost is the one where uh, I was trying to see what, if I would lose it. Ooh, Goldbloom has an outfit! I'm probably going to get that, because I don't think I need any outfits for any other plants. I've never seen the Goldbloom outfit before. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, sunglasses, baby! Fancy. Good, that commercial didn't break my game like the other time. Away! I don't think I'm ever gonna deal with Yetis, they're just not worth it. I have... Oh, I'm losing... I'm... I used up a lot of money, didn't I? I don't know how. Hmm. Oh, well. Was it during the gold bloom thing? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I didn't even check my garden. Oh. Well then. <laughs> this first stage should be easy. Oh my god, powered up lava guava is freaking amazing. You can destroy stages with just that. As I said, I think if I could recommend one plant that you buy with gems, it'd probably be the Lava Guava. They are truly stupendous.
The future? Weird. I thought I would be hungrier. After all, I haven't eaten in, uh, 4,000 years. Hey, what happened to the lawn? It's so glowy. I'm detecting an array of power tiles on the space lawn. Oh, it's a space lawn, of course. You know, is it out of space? I've already explained these power tiles in a previous episode, but this is the pretty much... Well, there's two conceits of this game. The two conceits are um, power tiles and robot enemies that are susceptible to a specific plant that is only useful on this stage, and I guess probably certain pinata events. All right, standard fare. We're getting like one of the most important plants in the game in the stage also, not this stage specifically, but um, I mean, it's it would have helped a lot in the Mayan stage. It would help in any stage that has flying enemies. Um, I'm gonna use a whole bunch of uh, power-ups because it's the first stage. And uh, you know, you know how I like to use those. Oh, hello. If I upgrade this here. Okay, good, I, I wanted to know if it showed the stats. I don't remember when I got enough seeds for that. Maybe I just forgot to upgrade it last time. Nothing else, right? It's just gonna be the Witch Hazel mocking me. Yeah. It's just the Witch Hazel mocking me. Nah. Now nah, let's just use them. That's just tradition to blow them all immediately. There we go. And you, why not? I hate this plant. <laughs> I just I just never feel the need to take it. Alright. Well, let's get an inordinately large amount of sun very quickly this and we get all of this and also let's delete these we don't need them what if I want a cooler plant on the power tile like uh, this plant yeah let's put you here I don't know how about one of these what if there is one of these there? Doesn't matter, I'm rich! I'm rich in sun! I'm like a sun baron. Hoarding all the sun. Except I'm not, I'm spending the sun on the people. On public works. Such as, uh, plants. I guess just plants. I'm spending them all on plants. Now, using a powered up, uh, plant on a power tile does not cause the other ones to activate. Also, that would be crazy. But also kind of cool. But also extremely broken. So I get why they didn't do it. Let's put you there, Armored Mustache Knight. Which should have been my YouTube name, Armored Mustache Knight. Though I don't really have a mustache, I have a beard. Usually. I usually have a beard. Shave about once every month, you know. Maybe, maybe rock a goatee for a bit. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to be hilarious. It's almost time to be hilarious. We're, we're, we're almost reaching maximum hilarity. All right, let's do it. Oh, what? You're not still alive? You're not gonna keep on fighting, guys? <laughs> what do you mean that wasn't fair? Oh, holy moly, salad trolley! I do believe that is a laser beam. Ooh, in a stroke of incredible luck. <laughs> It looks like future zombies are the zombies that I'm supposed to beat for my daily. That usually does not happen that well. Alright, but yeah, the laser beam. Laser bean. I'm gonna say that wrong repeatedly. Or I'm just gonna make up names like the throwy guy, because I don't know what the hell the thing is. But, um, you've seen this plant also in pinata stages, which is a little bit disappointing from my end, I think, just because I think it's cooler to just show a new plant or new concept for the first time when it shows up. But that's, you know, that's just not the way that these, this free-to-play game is structured, really. But there's a new plant. He's gonna give me some trouble. Or when did I get these seeds? What is happening? Maybe that's where a lot of my money went when I started upgrading. I don't know. Plant zombie. Oh, nice. This thing can zap more zombies now. You know what I think happened, actually? 
So I don't think I did get... Maybe I... I don't remember. But I know they reworked when uh, certain plants level up, so that could be that also. So this recharges a lot faster. That's very important, considering this thing gets more powerful the more peas you put on it. In fact, I think you just earned yourself a spot in my uh, active list for this mission. Not like it really matters, considering I'm just going to destroy everything. Oh, oh, I see. They're already getting picked, because I'm leveling them up weird. Weird way to do that, Giaz. Let's take the Stalvia. And, I mean, probably something that produces sun. <laughs> Maybe we should do that, too. And the gold bloom. Let's have him premiere in an actual combat. Skip a tiny bit ahead. Alright, that should do it. Let's put you right there. And we're gonna have these pea pods here. Yeah. I don't remember how fast it charged before, but it certainly looks like it's charging pretty fast. Alright. Maybe I jumped the gun on showing, like, when I start showing it, this is still gonna... They're still boring me, these zombies. Hmm. I don't know if they're worthy of being viewed. Lava, 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 lava. And is the Enderine leveled up too? Because I'm certainly planting it faster than I thought I'd be able to. Maybe it just has a fast plant time and I didn't realize. Stalvia! Ooh, that gold bloom is uh, showing dividends already. So, this guy is a new enemy. You've probably seen before because of Pinata event. Um, that creates a shield. And the shield is actually quite annoying. Uh, there will be a way to stop that shield prematurely later, but that is not now. And lava. <laughs> now, this is actually one of the situations where the backwards firing plant that I don't actually like all that much would be somewhat useful because it can fire behind it, like, it, it can go past the shield. But, you know, there's still better ways to deal with it. Like this! Rawr! This also goes past the shield. Um, I don't think it crushes spikes, so spikes can also go past the shield. But by then, like, zombies on up and down row are probably gonna be, you know, protected before it does anything useful, so... It's a big thing. Let's put lava here. <laughs> Did I ever show the Stalvia's power up thing, by the way? It just Stalvia's everyone on the stage. Which, you know. And it's not Stalvia. I keep on thinking it's like Sylvia. It's, it's Dahlia. It's Stalia. It's hard for me to remember that, though. Because in my head it was Sylvia. Which, I don't think they would introduce a, um... <laughs> a weird plant drug that isn't illegal despite the fact that it does insane things. Uh, at least based on the YouTube videos that I watched. Oh well. I think it's used in certain, like, uh, religious ceremonies for enlightenment or whatever. I don't know. Um, anyway. I I'm thinking about getting rid of these guys just so they can fear the ra feel the wrath of the, uh, the is, the is is. The, um... Yeah, the Lava Guavas. Let's, let's get some Lava Guava redemption for anyone who gets through, which is probably going to be no one. But, you know, let's give them a chance. Everyone deserves a chance to get to the back. Except for these guys who are getting electric. Yeah, that lasted a long time. Be -de 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 and you've been Guava, except for you. You've been peed upon. <laughs> it's so futuristic. Look how much sun I had. Ooh, I killed enough basic future zombies to get a basic future piñata. Now, are they going to give me uh, piñatas for plants I don't have? Maybe. I don't know. I really need to go into adventures like this. I, there was a way to get, like, apps, at least on my tablet, to stop telling you stupid things. Like, hey, play me right now. I just gotta do that. Wow, this is a creepy... Why does it have a satellite on its head? Is it getting television signals? No. Oh. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen in the future? The far... Oh my god, I love this plant, and I'm glad it's getting seeds. The magnifying grass. Don't have it yet. So I... And the infinite... It's a pretty good pun. It's a pretty good pun. I don't really like the infinite too much, but it has a really good plant power. So, alright, disco zombies and jetpack zombies. I don't know if I'm going to be encountering disco zombies this episode, but we'll see. This plant I need in my life. And we're going to get it very soon. B 
pew. All right, so I've used all of the plant, the powered up plants, which means I got some planting to do. Wham, 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 weemy, wham, wazzle, wham, wham. Oh wait, I can just sweep, can I? Yeah, there we go. You don't have to individually click; I can just drag. All right. <laughs> Not, uh, like, not using the powered-up plants, which I haven't been doing, has definitely been stifling my, uh, my money acquisition when I'm not playing, but... What's she gonna do? Not care? Okay. That is what I'm gonna do. Let's bring the lima bean. He's a bean that lines. And also, the gold bloom. Gonna search for his gold bloom bounty. And check it out. What else should we get? Maybe this, to blow enemies away. Gotta blow the enemies away. Now I need something that's really stable, that can do continuous damage. I guess the Lima Beam can work for that, but maybe I'll take the Punchy Poo. That is also its name. And this. Song over! Copyright. Don't replicate that song. I know you want to. Look at all that sun. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna make a, a... There's only one wave again. We are at the beginning. So, I don't have to worry too much for a while. Let's put you here. Oh my god, I could have two Gigantors. Maybe I can set that up. Let's go ahead a little bit. Well, I'm thinking my dream of two Gigantors isn't gonna come true, because that guy's gonna eat that thing, but that's fine. Uh, Lima Bean... It's not... It's a laser bean... Whatever, I can't. That It's too punful. For me to say the proper name to that plant, I think. And so he's just gonna wander off into the sunset. We got this. Just gonna be full lines of laser beans. Here we are. Uh, you go away, though. <laughs> bot swarm! Um, bots are, um... Why did he get frozen? That was very weird. Um, these are imps. These are this world's version of imps, are bots. Uh, they're a little bit different because, as I mentioned, there is a type of, uh, electronic enemy, and they count. But beyond that, they're just imps. They have the same strength as imps, as far as I know. Um, oh, good. He lost his head. Make a punch. How did I lose him? Weird. Um, go back. Get out of here. Get out to me, life. He's encroaching, but I think I'm just going to, uh persuade him to follow me. Do this. I haven't gotten any plant food here. This is the first plant food I'm gonna get, it looks like. Hmm. You know, we're fine. I don't, I don't see what they can possibly do at this point. Even if they all got through, uh, I think a lot of them would be lawnmower, yeah, because there's the last wave already. We'll get him to follow me. And in an odd uh, form of events, this will also turn metal. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. He was on my side. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. And he turned into the Gigantor of this stage. Interesting. I didn't know that happened. Eh. Also, these guys can't fly over the tall nuts if I didn't. I know I've mentioned that in the past, but you may have forgotten. No, he's not going to eat that, is he? Oh, well. Um, go over here. And you go right here. You get pump, pump, punch, but a pump, pump, punch, get a pump, 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 punch, 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 get a punch, 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 get a double, 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 punch, <laughs> double uppercut. Not sure how that back guy reached him, but whatever. And we got the blower. It's not really called the blower, though, is it? Ooh, jetpack zombies. We're getting them. Still no, di there's no way disco zombies are gonna show up this early, though. It's the blower. <laughs> It's a like clover that blows people. Wait, oh, oh my. That had implications that I did not intend. Not at all. You know how sometimes, uh, suns are bombs? This is one of those times. This stage is weird. <laughs> I remember this stage. So, I pick like normal, but I'm not able to bring any sun-producing plants. I do believe I'll bring you. I'm assuming they're not going to let me bring the gold bloom. Oh my god, you guys messed up. You messed up. The stage is now broken. I have the gold bloom. That's going to open up a lot of hilarious things. In fact, I'm just going to straight off buy one of these. What are you guys going to do about nothing? That's right. That's what I thought you were going to do. I'm going to take him. There are flying guys, damn it. Um, that's fine. I kind of like the way the punchy guys were doing, though. 
Um, wait, can these guys knock those flying guys out of the air? I don't actually know that. Guess we'll find out. Um, oh wait, I have the Blover. I don't, I don't need to test that. I can just get rid of them. And, uh, this is a knockback. Alright. So, the special conceit for this stage is that sun will not come from plants unless you sneak in a gold bloom, which was made way after this stage was conceived. Uh, so they probably forgot to disable it. Sorry, using your mistake against you. Um, but if you click on the sun while it's purple, it will explode in something that I don't think is as powerful as a cherry bomb, but it's similar. Um, however, it will also blow up your plants, so you need to be careful where you at. Oh, did you... I mean, I didn't need to demonstrate in such a spectacular fashion where I got rid of my 500 sun plant. Um, I was just dragging. I somehow didn't think that dragging would detonate it. I thought I'd have to click on it. I don't know why I thought this makes a lot of sense that I would just have to do that. But that's what's happened, and now I'm in less good of a state, to be sure. Except for the fact that this entire stage can probably be completed without plants. But, you know, um, I am a little bit disappointed that I lost my, my, my really expensive one, though. <laughs> Gotta say. Um, oh no, I'm letting them get past. Whatever is he planning, he's crazy. Get out of here. <laughs> so, I hate to say it, Hurricane obsolete, which is why I got it earlier, because I did actually want to use it. And plus, it is a poor man's flying uh, denial. But, um, it, that's, th those days are over. <laughs> I don't need it, I have the blower. Uh, the glo- the blover. The blover. And boom! <laughs> Bo boom! Alright, it's not that quite that big. Um. Hmm. Come to me. I am your true master. Listen no more to the desires of your undead heart. Now you serve mankind, the place from whence you came. So I'm assuming these guys were all human ones, which actually makes this kind of depressing. Because we might live in the post-apocalypse, they don't really ever mention the fact that why is every... I mean, it's not... Based on this, though, it's not the post-apocalypse. There's just zombies in every timeline. Well, that might be Dr. Zombos's fault. Again, they never say. Also, I'm gonna blow you away. <laughs> Basically, any stage that has flying zombies, you're remiss for not bringing the blo the blover. <laughs> the four... Le the three-leaf blover. Also, I'm just waiting for a little bit more sun. There we go. And the assaults can begin. Triple. Ice. Power! That did it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I got pretty far without needing to use... Actually, I can't say I got pretty far without needing to use plants. The, the, uh, the winter melons are definitely doing their job by slowing people. But anytime someone gets close, I just need to get a little bit lucky and then blow them up with the sun. But not that lucky. Bam! So everyone's doomed. Everyone's doomed. Let's not hit that prematurely. Boom. Final wave coming. You know that, um, the person who made the original music for this game is making an RPG or made an RPG? And one of the songs from Plants vs. Zombies is in it, because, like, she made the music and she had a clause. And it was originally RPG boss battle music. Which is, it was, like, my favorite song from the game, too. It happened during a lot of the conveyor belt stages. Alright, that was enough. Pow! Oh, I didn't blow it up, weird. <laughs> Pow! Ooh. What could it be? I actually, I'm asking, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm confused a little bit, I have to be honest. I spy with my crazy eye, a UFB, unidentified flying brain. Oh god, it's a brain. Something more formidable than a brain lies within. It's not a brain. Ah, the terrors of tomorrow. This is the survival stage of uh, the far future. Beep 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 beep
There's a lot of things in this game that you can only see one time ever, and even if you play the game for like five years, unless you start from the beginning, you can't see them again. Like all of Dr. Zomboss's dialogue, and like the cool construction of the Terror from Tomorrow, so I, I forgot that he like threw gnomes out and crap, that was weird. Alright, one more. Hopefully this will be enough for me to get the, uh... thing. Nope, there's no flying zombies here, so I'm not gonna get the thing. Also, I'm actually gonna, uh, exit back to map because I forgot something. And that something is that I have a hundred gems, and that I can buy another gem plant for this uh, deal that I'm starting to think is permanent, because it's been weeks. Um, I think I want the homing thistle. Especially because if they go back to the previous prices, and I don't think they are at this point, um, it'll be more expensive. I do kind of wish I had bought the shrinking violet, but we're only talking about 20, 20 uh, gems here. It's not a big deal. So... Let's rack him up. Now, I don't know if these guys go past the shield that this guy can create, but I'm pretty sure the laser bean does. <laughs> Again, I want to test that. If this thing does, though, that means all pulse would go past it, and I'm not sure that's the case. But we'll see. So just looking at the power grid selection, why would I ever... I guess I'd use those for various blockers or something, but weird configuration. This one is, of course, the one that I want to concentrate on. Um, I think I'm gonna plop a homing thistle on right now just to show that up. The homing thistle was in the first game. There were no premium plants in the first game, but there were weird special plants that you had to buy with exorbitant amounts of coins that you get throughout the game, and this was one of them. Uh, it attacks whoever is closest. Doesn't matter where they are, it attacks whoever is closest. And let me see. Three, four, five. It looks like it has the power of two peas every shot. Or the power of one, um, ca like, a cabbage bolt, because I think those also have the power of two peas, if I remember right. But yeah, it, it's more like a, a homing, a homing cabbage bolt than it is a homing, uh, pea shooter. But yeah, you get a bunch of them, it can be, can be pretty useful. They are still not the best, um, simply because of their price is a little bit, uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, honestly, why they're th quite that expensive. But I guess since they focus fire on the closest one, you get a whole bunch, it can be a little bit crazy. That being said, when zombies are dying left and right, um, if they shoot at a zombie that dies, they don't refocus on the new guy. I think their shots just go off into the ether and hit nothing. So <laughs> if they refocused on the closest one, that would make them really, really powerful, but that is not how it works. And I set up my sun grid already, that's very nice. Let's get these bouncing guys, just so I can test the theory of, um, catapults going past shields, because I don't actually know that. Let's put you here to help. There we are. Oh, plus the, the knockback, uh, the char guard is gonna change who's in the front, so that's kinda cool. That's a weird type of semi-synergy. Full row of the thistles. Where my shield guy at? This guy is a new special, he's essentially a special type of Buckethead, just like the ice guy in the, um, the blockhead zombie, the ice block zombie, I think they were called, in the frozen stage was. Um, he just takes a lot more damage. I think even more so than the, uh, Buckethead. But other than that, he doesn't act specially. He doesn't trample things. Um, he eats, uh, he'll eat, like, sunbeams, and, uh, sunbeams haven't, have they come up yet? I don't know. But he'll eat, um, he'll eat the mushroom to turn crazy, so he's really good for capturing, essentially. Alright, and the bloom. Alright, here we are. Put up your shield, weirdo. It looks like it goes through, yeah, it looks like it, it looks like the pulse go through the shield, which I don't know why I never made that connection before. Um, also, plant food homing insanity! <laughs> Plant food power is not that great. <laughs> but, you know, I use it in a pinch. Plus, every plant food power, not everyone, but almost every plant food power is great when you multiply it times three. I mean, I guess the Stalia wouldn't be that great. I think it would just. It's not like Stalia slow stacks or anything, so. It'd be just the same. Alright, didn't even bring the uh, laser bean, but I didn't need to. Or I didn't use it, rather, I brought it, of course. Let's knock him out! <laughs> Not bad. 
Not bad for weakening the field. I didn't use this either, did I? That should do some damage. Wham! <laughs> Alright, well, there's only two of you left. You're all gonna get focus fired. That was like getting hit by like 24 P's at the end there. Give me presents! Blip! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> That's my girlfriend's favorite outfit. A little, little rubber ducky on top of his head. Alright, that is it. Um, no, next episode we're also getting a really good plan. Cool. Um, I'll probably have another, enough gems to buy the next one. If I can, see, here's the thing. I'm really backlogged, but I want to keep on going. This is one of my favorite stages, the future stage. So maybe, maybe I'll just have to keep on going. Maybe I just have to follow my gamer's heart and just accept that this is going to be really backlogged. And that that's okay, because I've been able to release a new video almost every day, despite being busy, which is great. There was a period where I was really slowing down there, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it. But I do like it when someone comments on my video and I can mention it before a month passes. All I'm saying... Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am Cross Knight. Also, showing updates? People aren't going to see these updates for months or whatever. I'll see you guys next time where we'll get uh, this guy who's just great. Just great. Ah, uh, yes. The gold bloom is mine. The Jeff Goldblum. Or so, I don't know what happened. That happened in the last episode, right? Whatever. Um, up there, I just figured I might as well just show like me getting some piñata. Pin pin yes. This editing thing is really better than for apps or uh, movie maker rather. But um, I don't know. I just I just haven't been willing to make the switch entirely to Camtasia because it's also harder. But I can do cool things like that. I can make actual end screens, like 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 actual like YouTubers that don't just slap things together and like free programs that they got. Whatever. It's fine. I do what I do. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll see. You, I'll see you guys next time. You marvel at my pinatas. Mm.